Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Okay, so as you can see, today's video is another one in my real versus fake um, makeup palette series. And today is obviously the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette. So before I start talking about the palettes themselves, I just wanted to clear a couple of things up. Now on my previous videos, I've had people saying things like, oh yeah, you talk really favorably about the real palette, but you're really nasty about the fake palette. Well, I'm not condoning buying fake palettes. I am trying to point out what not to buy. I will not tell you where I buy my fakes from. I don't condone buying fakes in any way. I buy these fakes purely so that I can point out to you what to look for so that you don't get stung and you don't buy a fake palette. If the palette is less than retail and it's $10, $15, $20, it is almost certainly fake no matter how good it looks. Um, also, my, price, my prices are based on the Australian market. I live in Australia, so my prices are Australian. So please bear that in mind before you send me messages saying you've got your prices wrong. Every country is different. Australia is quite a bit more um, than the US or England, for instance. And I do do my research before I do these videos. So I just wanted to clear that up. But yes, by no means am I condoning buying a fake palette. I will not, as I said, tell you where I get them from. I do destroy these after I have made the video, maybe sort of six months after, so I can still keep them as a bit of a guideline if I've got any extra questions. So let's get started with looking at the palettes. Okay, so as you can see, these are remarkably similar and I actually got so confused with the boxes earlier on, it took me a little while to figure out again which one was the real one and which one was the fake one. So as you can see, if you, I think you can probably see here, I have, have written fake on the top right hand corner of the top box. This is the fake box. This is the real box. Now, as you can see from the boxes, they are almost identical. The top box, despite the lighting, is a little bit paler. You might not be able to see that in my lighting. My lighting is a bit iffy at the moment, but the top box is paler. The gold is also not as rich a gold. But other than that, the pattern is very, very similar. Um, the gold around the circles, the sorry, the gold circles around the pink is slightly sloppier print-wise. Um, all of the font is exactly the same so that I was actually really shocked at how close this is now if I flip over the ends so I'm going to pop the real one underneath and the top the, the fake one above so the fake one is this one here now if I just zoom in and focus it's identical everything is identical the barcode is identical the little serial number there is a serial number on the real one and again there is a serial number that's identical on the fake palette. The only difference is this is a lot more of a true gold. That is sort of a, a wishy-washy gold. The other end, so okay, sorry, we'll we'll just have a look at the ingredients. Um, this is a more wishy-washy pink, which you, I'm not sure whether you can actually really see. I think you can see it's a completely different pink. This is a much prettier pink. Um, other than that, everything is identical. This is very smudged. This is another thing I have noticed. So this is definitely the fake box. That makes me feel a bit more comfortable. Because as I said, I actually did mix these up this morning. But the, the writing on here is all smudged. Particularly, if I can zoom in and just show you. Up here. Sorry, my camera's wiggling a bit. So here, powder, copper powder, really smudged. This next line is all smudged. And as you can see from the real one, it is absolutely perfect. The other end of the box is identical. It's just got these little grooves um, sort of etched into the box to make for easier opening. Now the other side, so I'm going to turn these over. So now the fake one is on the bottom. The real one is on the top. And again, exactly the same, just slightly different. So this is a more wishy-washy pink. This is the nicer, pretty looking pink. Okay, so the back of the palettes, again, is very, very, very similar. This is a lot darker brown, and this is the fake palette, the top one again. The colour names are all identical. Um, what else can I see? So this is a more pink font, slightly pinker font. This is a sort of a more wishy-washy pinky yellow almost. Um, and it does look like there's a bit of a colour... I'm just having a bit of a closer look. Now, there's there's really not a whole lot of difference with the top and the bottom. The colours are all identical. As I said, this through here is slightly darker. This is a more true chocolatey sort of colour. And the font 
is a lot more golden, true golden. This is sort of a bit washed out. Let me see if I can pop them together so you can see. I don't know how well, yeah, so you can see it. This is a more sort of wishy-washy looking gold and the true, uh, the real palette, the gold is a lot more rich sort of looking. Okay, so when I get the chocolate bars out of the palette, again, the top one is the fake one. This one is the fake, this one is the real one. They are again exceptionally similar. I'm ex extremely shocked at how good a fake this one is. This is really going to sucker in some people. So I really hope this video does help you. Um, so you get the leaflet with it. Now the top one to me looks like it's been poorly photocopied. It is a much um, sort of more wishy-washy looking image. If I pop them next to each other. This is um this is just more this is a lot clearer a lot better printing this is it does look like photocopied it looks like it's been done on somebody's home printer the gold around here is a much richer gold and the font is a stronger colour so I'm just having a look at the pamphlets just off camera just to see if I can show you yeah so yeah, exactly the same so if we look at the semi suite here again the colours on the right on the real one are a lot prettier stronger truer colors this one just looks like it's been photocopied at home so that it's identical in terms of what it says and what it looks like but it is a an inferior photocopy and it's not as nice this is on a really thick rich sort of um thick quality paper this is on a much thinner sort of yeah just like sort of the sort of thing you could produce at home so I'll pop those away and then we'll have a look at the palettes. Okay, so again, the palettes are remarkably, remarkably close. Now this is a darker, slightly darker brown. This is a more true chocolate colour. Again, the gold is a bit more washy, wishy-washy on the chocolate bar. This is a truer gold. Uh, the pink is pretty much spot on. It's not too, di it's not too different at all. In fact, um, I would say it's almost identical. So the outside of the palettes are remarkably the same, or sorry, remarkably similar. Now, if I just turn them over, the only thing that's missing that's immediately um, obvious to me is the little, on the real one down the bottom, it again has the AL3 printed. It's missing from the fake. Again, um, it says the exact same thing. The gold is a little bit wishy-washy and sort of not very um sorry there's a piece of makeup on this one I'll just remove that sorry guys I was going to say there's a little extra bit printed but it's actually some of my foundation cream so I apologies for that <laughs> um yeah so the top one has all the same stuff there's no spelling mistakes everything is written the same the font is a little bit more um smudgy looking it's not as clear a print um, you still would be, I mean, if I had picked this up in the shop, I would have thought this was a real palette. So this is how good this one is. This is the only one I've actually seen that would really have suckered me in. Um, it is dented. It's got a dent in the corner. It's got a dent on that corner too, only slightly. But yep, the font's the same. The printing is more washed out and sort of more smudgy. But other than that, it's, it's a scarily, scarily good copy. Okay, so when I open the palette, so I'm going to, not exactly sure how I'm going to squeeze this all in, but we'll just bear with me and we'll have a go. So the top one, I'll just get the, I'll show you the fake one first and then I'll pop the other one next to it. So the fake one has, um, it has the mirror, sorry about the glare guys, I'm just trying to show you. It has the mirror, it has the plastic over the mirror so you can remove that. It has chocolate bar written in gold font and the two-faced. Now if I open the real one and I'll pop it next to it, there is... A difference in well in terms of the plastic I never remove my plastic because I never use these mirrors so there's actually a little tab on the real one that you can just pull off and again it is so scarily similar the gold font on the fake one is almost identical in color to the real one but the obvious thing when you open up the fake palette is it doesn't smell like chocolate if you're not familiar with the Too Faced chocolate bar palette it looks like chocolate and it smells like chocolate as soon as you open up the real one sorry guys wobbled there you will smell a chocolate bar so that's the first thing that's obvious to me when i pick up the real one it smells like chocolate when i pick up the fake one it's got a musty smell where it smells like it's been sitting in storage you know that sort of not a mothbally smell but just a smell where it's been sitting somewhere for a while and it's got like a just a bit of a 
an old smell, I guess. So it doesn't smell very nice at all. Now, the other thing that the Real palette comes with is a plastic sheeting with all of the names. If I just pop my hand behind it, you'll be able to see all of the names of the colours. Now, the Fake also comes with this exactly the same. The only difference is the font is a lot more washed out. It's a lot finer. If I can show you, hang on, how can I do this? So, so if you can see, sorry, the real one is at the bottom where it says Gilded Ganache. And then if I, there you go, so you can see the difference. Bottom Gilded Ganache White Chocolate. Then the next row up, the Hazelnut and Cream, Creme Brulee is on the fake. Now look at the difference in the font. So that's quite obvious. Um, and then we have the colours. Now this is where I was absolutely astounded because if I just see if I can just um, pan through for you. So... We'll start here. So this is the this is the fake. Sorry guys, I really have a crappy setup at the moment. I'm just trying to figure out the best way to show you. So that's the fake. And then that's the real one. Now the colours are eerily similar. It is really freaky how good these colours are. Let me just see if I can pop them on top so I can show you a bit better. Okay guys, so that's probably a bit of a better view for you. Now as you can see, this is really, really, really similar. The colours are almost identical with every colour. The notable exceptions for me would be this colour here, which is Salted Caramel. So I'll swatch the real one and I'll swatch the fake. So the real one is on this finger. The fake one is on the middle finger. The pigment is a lot stronger on the real one the color density is different so that's one that stands out to me another one that stands out here is what's it actually called it's called black forest truffle which is this one here so this is a sort of dark brown with a little bit of red and gold sort of sparkle in it more, more gold so I'll swatch the fake one and I'll swatch the real one now the texture of these is quite different they look a lot different in the actual pan, but as you can see, they're fairly similar. The only thing I would say that's really different, this is the real one on my middle finger. This one here is the real one. That's the fake one. The real one has a lot more gold flecks in it, a lot more. But in terms of colour, the colour is almost spot on. Another one that is fair, another one that stands out to me as being a probably slightly different is this one here which is called candied violet so again i'll swatch that whoops so that one's the fake one that one's the real one the consistency is a lot smoother on the real one so the real one is on my this finger and the fake one is on my middle finger and as you can see again if i just zoom in for you the focus it's almost identical this is without a doubt the most close in terms of well, everything about the fake palette is almost spot on with the real palette. And then the highlight colour up here, white chocolate, that's quite different. This is a really, I'm just trying to clean my fingers so I can show you. The fake one is really quite a yellowy highlighter, whereas the real one is a lot more um, sort of a creamy colour. And I'm just, let's see if I can get, yeah. But then when you, <laughs> when you swatch it, it's remarkably similar. In fact, the fake is probably more pigmented than the real one, which is a bit of a worry. I'll just give you another swatch of this one down here, this sort of pearl finish. It's called Champagne Truffle. So fake one, real one. The real one is like silk. The fake one is a lot more lumpy looking. But again, actually, oh, sorry, not lumpy looking, sort of uneven feel, I guess, when you swatch them. But again, look at the colours. The real one is this finger. The fake one is my middle finger and the fake one has a lot more pigment and a lot but the the real one has a has more of a um, almost gold tinge to it but it's 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 oh my god it's so scarily the same it's not funny okay so i'm just going to do one more swatch and i'm going to pick a random color um and i'm going to do it on my skin so i think we'll use this one here which is the amaretto so i'm going to do the fake first and ooh. Pop that one on my skin then I'm going to use the same color from the real palette 
that one is actually slightly different. So the real one is a darker um, color with not as much shimmer to it. So that's one of the ones that does come out quite different. So that was a, that was the Amaretto, which is this one here. Um, let me just grab another one for you. Uh, what's a good one to swatch? I think we will swatch this one here, which is Cherry Cordial. So I will do the fake one. If I run out of arm, sorry guys. And then I will do the real one. And now the real one is coarser feeling. It's got, oops, sorry. It's got a... Um, like glittery particles in it and it's it actually feels more coarse and that's another one that's very very different so it's nothing nothing like the fake at all the, the sorry the fake is nothing like the real one at all okay so the idea of this video was to point out the obvious obvious um discrepancies in the palette but the, as you can see by what i've talked about there really aren't that many massive discrepancies the colors are slightly off when you look at it at, at a glance, the colours look remarkably similar. Uh, the font is exactly the same. The little plastic sheeting, as I said before, the font is written a little bit uh, more sort of finely. Uh, the boxes are the same, but when you open the fake box, there's no, and you close it, there's no magnetic um, close. When you open and shut the real one, if I just pop this one back in, when you shut the real one, there is a magnetic class. If I do that with that one, it just doesn't... It, so there you go I can do that with just my thumb when I want to open the other one I have to shake it open so there is a magnetic close on the real palette um, so other than those few things I've pointed out the font the paperwork uh, the colors slightly different the palettes are remarkably the same so the best thing to do to avoid buying a fake is buy from an authorized distributor whether that be a store of a retail store a physical store or an online supply store there are a few um, beauty bay is a great place to get them from uh, there are other brands that, uh, sorry there are other websites to buy them from don't buy from ebay don't buy from any places like that if you buy from ebay you are almost certainly buying a fake if you think you've got a bargain you've got a bargain because you bought a fake so look guys i hope this video does help you um as i said before i am not con condoning buying fakes i'm not going to be answering questions as to where you can buy a fake from this is just to help you spot the differences and as i said before the the people that are making these fakes they're getting better and better and better so you will get sucked in to thinking is a real one really easily these palettes are so good that it is it is it is just scary how good this palette is so i just emphasize please if you really really want a real palette pay the money get it from the right place and if you are buying a fake the only advice i would give is do a skin test before you put it on your eyes because as i said in one of my naked palette videos I didn't do, excuse me, I didn't do a skin test with one of them and I developed a hideous allergic reaction and I was actually really swollen up for quite a bit of time. So, yep, that's all I've got to say about that. So any questions you've got for me, leave them in the comments box below and I'll get back to you. I leave the links to where to buy real Too Faced chocolate bar palettes in the description bar my country i don't know about other other countries um i'll try and find out a bit of information about you like i said um i'm not condoning buying the fake ones so i won't be telling you where i get my fake from um if you like the video give me a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed please do i've got another few fake palette uh, versus real palettes coming very soon okay guys thank you very much for watching bye